Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how to use TechSquenza, which is a new app released by Jem Olk, another one of uh, his gems. And it's very interesting because it uses text to generate MIDI notes. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm inside a UM, so let's create uh, a MIDI channel and also an audio channel. Let's load um, Copperhead, why not, as uh, an audio source. And uh, let's choose something from one of my banks, like this uh, alien base. Then let's load text Quenza inside the um, MIDI uh, channel and link the two, as you normally do. There you are. Now. As you can see, the application is very simple. You have a place here where you can type some text. And of course, you can also use capitalization, etc. And uh, you can clear what you type, uh, pressing on the clear button here, of course. And then you can click done uh, when you actually finished editing, of course, but you can click on it again to edit it. So let's type uh, again um, something like welcome, why not? And let's click play. And that is actually sending MIDI messages, which are translated from the uh, type of, no, uh, of um, letter that you used inside effectively this text box here in the application to Copperhead, which is using these alien bass um, sound to produce that bass sound that you just heard. As usual, you have a selection of patterns here. You can create multiple patterns. You can copy and paste. And of course, you can change pattern using CC number 10. You can change the rate here uh, on the bottom uh, right. And you can go also inside the settings. And it's very straightforward. You can change the uh, CC number to change the pattern. You can say change the MIDI in channel. In this case, it's one by default. The same for the MIDI out channel. You can select which scale to uh, use. I like, why not? Let's use something like um, these Neapolitan minor. And the key, the minimum and max octave that you want to use. Then you have an option to choose the velocity for the notes. If you want to capitalize, sorry, accentuate, capitalize the letters. But you can also randomize the velocity, which is really nice if you're trying to create some melodies. You can change the gate. And also you can randomize the gate, I'll open and close the gate. And you can also create uh, some map customer um, characters. Here it is one, which uh, I created before, but you can remove it. You can click on create a new. You just give it, um, um, you decide what character here, type of note, scale note, etc. And you keep pressing on the plus sign to add additional ones, which is really nice. Then you can decide uh, the size of the font, small, normal, big, and custom, and also the knob control styles. So really nice. Now let's um, try to see if we can use it for uh, creating a little bit of a pattern. So let's um, create another audio source. Why not? And let's choose um, something like Hammerhead. Let's open it. Let's load uh, factory preset. Why not? Let's disable the sequencer here. Uh, perfect, reduce a little bit of volume because Hammerhead is always high. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new MIDI processor. I'm going to load um, test, uh, sorry, text Quenza again, and I'm going to link Hammerhead to the text Quenza. Now, <clears throat> I don't know what uh, are the notes corresponding to the drum sound, so I need to try. A little bit. Let's start with these um, A, then a space, and then A and a space. Hopefully that is the kick drum. Perfect. That is actually the quick the kick drum. So let's let's lower a little bit of the bass again. Maybe the letter B is um, uh, the snare. Let's try. Nice, and as you can see, the space gives um, time in your rhythm. That is why I'm adding it. So let's add another A, then another B, then another um, A, then another B, and then another uh, 
A space and then two B. And let's listen. And it works perfectly. So it's a different way to actually create your patterns just in just using text, which uh, is quite nice. Why not? Let's create another audio channel and uh, let's uh, load Copperhead uh, again. Let's create another text sequence uh, MIDI processor, like so. Let's connect the two um, as I previously done on the other audio sources. Oh, sorry, not that one, to uh, this one. Perfect. Then let's load the preset, perhaps uh, a key preset, these wonder keys here. Okay, then uh, on this last one, let's um, do something like um, one, two, three, oops, uh, one, two, three, four, then a B, 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 why not? And let's um, click done, go on the setting, change the scale to the same scale I used for the bass, and let's see what uh, I can produce like so. Really nice, and I can continue like that, right? One, two, oh, yeah, it's a dot. So one, two, uh, three, four, like that. Why not? And let's try this one. So as you can see, it's actually great fun using text sequencer to create your rhythms. A little bit different, as you can see. I used a word welcome to create a melody. I didn't have to, you know, spend a lot of time to create that bass melody. Then I used uh, the right combination of letters here to create a drum patterns, driving a hammerhead here. And then lastly, I just repeated some notes, A, B, and C, to create something on top of what I already created, so that it sounds a little bit more interesting. So I think it's uh, quite a nice idea and it's definitely another one to add to the gem collections. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.